You saw too, after he beat Otana, the emotion from Juan Soto. For those who have followed his career, this is one of the brightest stars in all of baseball <laughs> and the first ball he sees. Many guys have had that first ball leave the yard. He does. Pretty much consistent with what he did last year. Simple, simple swing. Remember guys, last year, he was squatted down second half of the season. He used his legs a lot, especially during the home run derby. He's standing taller right now. He wants the ball hit, thrown up, and he's just laying barrel. He sure is. And when I talked to Juan the other day, guys, he made it clear, look, I'm not out there to hit moonshots. He just wants to pile up as many home runs as possible. And Carl, you mentioned all the conversations about whether or not he's going to be traded. I talked with executives with other teams today who are convinced in the next 15 days he will be dealt to another team for Major League ready players. Well, that's That would send huge ripple effects through Major League Baseball. But I tell you what we got working right now, one of the great spray charts in home run derby history. He has gone line to line in his first seven home runs. Yeah, one thing that I did ask him was, are you going to try to pull a little bit more? Lower fence than in Colorado. He goes, no, nope, I'm staying true to who I am. His balls off the bat look like some of the drives we just saw at the Open Championship. There is a slow, steady rise to them. Instead of those majestic, like some of those Alonzo moon shots. There's another one. No Cam Smith here, right? No, no, no. No mullet? There's definitely no mullet here. Boy, there is a blast, and he's going to call a timeout with his 10th. He's got 447, he's got 453, he's got bonus time, he's within nine. Okay, so Juan Soto came out of the batter's box and started telling the players, he goes, it's tough to see. Pointed at his eyes, said, you really have to stay on it. Even Javier Bracamonte, who is the Astros bullpen catcher and is catching right now, was telling him, yes, you're right, it is very difficult to be able to pick up the baseball. Is that because time of day? Time of day, this happens all the time. Just think about all the Sunday night baseball games that have started yeah. around five o'clock. You always struggle early on. There goes a massive shot again off the bat of Soto. 23 years, 266 days. If he were able to win this derby, he'd be the second youngest ever to do it. And this is considered probably by Soto standards a down year. He's hitting 250, but he's got 19 homers, six highest total among outfielders. And he has been on one of those post home run derby tears of last year coming into the derby. Down the line and tailing towards the pole, but it's going to stay fair. A hook him homer, and now the other way. He's only 23 years old. The youth movement is happening. Rodriguez, 21. Soto feels like he's been in the league for 10 years already. Right center field has some incoming. Get a glove out. Off a glove, but a good ball. There's another homer for Soto, and that will end it. Juan Soto does the job as he advances and eliminates Jose Ramirez. Think how economical it is to go second. 100%. You're able to preserve swings, the most pickiest hitter of the group. Only swings at strikes in this event. Set the tone from that first pitch to the last one. This one got out of here. It was deep, a couple rows before. <laughs> from the mark and let's flip that back. <laughs> 46 home runs in his debut last year at the Derby. Juan Soto is ready. Feels like the stage is set for Juan Soto. Well, he's come here on a mission and he actually got here to LA red hot as well. First swing that he took in the first round, he took the This one, two already pop-ups just to the infield. Watch where the catcher wants it as well. He wants it way up. That's where the target is. Soto's taken four swings and not one until this point has left 
And now all for his first five. Did you predict Albert Pujols in the finals? I know you predicted him to beat Schwarber. I predicted him to win that round, but not this one. I believe that with Juan Soto, who has really struggled right now, no home run so far with 45 seconds, that should be the first. Really surprised he has not tried to pull the baseball consistently like that right there. If he's able to do that, catch it out front, and get in the roll. Well, there goes a big one. And maybe now starting to get into a little groove as he goes back to back. Not enough to get out in left. Center field, not enough. So he's set up in 40, four homers. He's got one over 440, went 454. But the pitchers are coming quick, and not many are leaving the yard. There's another one, and he says, let's just pull the plug on this. Six homers for Soto, 90 seconds, and still a 440 shot. He needs 15 to tie, 10 to win. He's got 90 seconds to do it, and he still needs another one at 440 to buy an extra 30. One thing Juan Soto is doing in this round, at least early on, he wasn't swinging all out. It was almost like he was going 60%. Let's see if he increases that percentage to bat speed as that's right there. He has to catch it out in front. Letting it get too deep is not working for him right now. No, none of it's really working for him as he's not halfway to where Pujols is. That'll go. Mejia's pitches, too, Eddie, they're not flat. That's one thing about Julio Rodriguez, and we'll talk about what Framie Pena's been able to do, a former catcher. Everything's in the same spot as your batting practice pitcher. Well, he's using a different strategy than all the other batting practice pitchers have been so far. And we'll show the difference. But right now, with 30 seconds left, he will have a minute because he already is into the bonus plus that extra because of the distance. Should have enough. Yeah, that's number 12, and that's a big shot from Soto. That one did leave. He's got 13 now, just climbed over the wall. That one to center, not going to go. There's a good double right there. All right, so Juan's going to need three in a minute. He's in a great position. But right now it feels like this is Julio Rodriguez's home run derby. Yeah, but a little frustration as well. Even though Juan Soto does smile right now and is, he would have rather have hit this mm -hmm. with the three minutes instead of having now to go into that extra minute and use up more energy. You're thinking, well, what's a minute? In this event, it's a lot. It's a world. And again, with Mejia having to pitch to him some extra pitches, he has to be able to throw it up in the zone, elevate, but most importantly, be consistent in one spot for one. It's an insurmountable number. We didn't see it from Alonzo this year, and now Soto, look out. This is everything with a minute to go. Well, it's a different baseball, and I think it always takes the hitters a couple pitches to get used to it. But right now, he's putting a lot more effort into this, a little bit more in his legs right now. One left for the tie. Left center field sitting on 15, needs one more in order to get to the final. That won't do it. 30 seconds to go for one. That should do it. He thinks so. High fly ball down the right field line. That's it. So Juan Soto will move to the finals and take on Julio Rodriguez. A youth movement here in Los Angeles. The, hall, the future Hall of Famer, the superstar from the Dominican, is handing it over right now to our future Juan Soto and Julio Rodriguez. 21 years, 23 years. Soto's got a little more experience in this, but right now this is Julio Rodriguez's night. How about Julio Rodriguez? Oh, 
That's Dude. impressive. Right? That's been really impressive. First, first derby. Yeah. But he's built for this. Why is that? Because he's a big kid. I mean, he he's solid. He's put together. So it's, uh, you know, 6'3", 210, 220. I mean, it's fun to watch. He hey. wins this thing. How cool will it be for Seattle next year with the All-Star game? Then they got to... You got to defend you know, it. You got to defend it. You got to defend it. Oh, and I then I may come out of retirement and defend it. I love that. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Here's Soto looking for his first love here it, with a minute and 40 to go in the championship round. Trying to get on a roll. And you got to get one to get two. And boy, that pitches from Mejia, they keep moving. There's nothing consistent about where that ball is going. And Soto has not been able to lock in. Yeah, and right now with this slow start from Juan Soto, a lot, a lot more difficult now to try to play catch up. A minute 15 left, needs the ball middle in or in the pull. He's such a pure hitter. Anything that he sees middle away, he does not know how to pull. That's what's made him so successful during those Major League Baseball games and in his career. All right, he's got three and he's still swinging. He needs 18 to tie. There it is. That's a good one. That's where you have to throw it. If I'm the catcher right now, I have to set up a little bit more in, not right down the middle and up, just to end. And that ball that we just saw screaming out to left center field on a line, we've seen so many of those in derby competitions. Another line shot. That leaves. He's got the bonus. So Soto's going to get an extra minute. And there's a big one to center field that they will watch go. He'll call timeout. And Juan Soto got hot late. He's more than halfway there. Okay, he's taking those deep breaths, but he's more focused now than he was in the first two rounds. A lot of smiles early on. Now, Starling Marte, a little concerned look by Julio Rodriguez when you're going off against the veteran 23-year-old. The foot comes down, ball is in but the bat head stays in that zone so long that he is able to go line to line conversation also going on in the mound with Mejia and the catcher behind the plate where do you want me to set up catcher is right now they just said throw him in set up in if you do so he will have a better chance Robinson Cano David Ortiz Vlad Guerrero Miguel Tejada Sammy Sosa Dominican-born players that have won the home run derby. And Juan Soto is trying to add his name to that list. He is on pace currently for 17 in the upper right-hand corner. He needs 18. He's also got the bonus. I've, I love technology, but with Juan Soto, technology sometimes just doesn't work because he has defied everything in a young player his entire young career. He's got 11 now as the... Ball hits the right field seats, and that's a fly to center and deep. He's got 12. Ooh, that's the pitch he needs right there. Way gone to right field. Mejia is starting to come in a lot more. The catcher with his mitt to set up on the inside corner, and it's worked beautifully. Now that one was hit at the buzzer. Soto said it should count. We'll see. Well, it was released from Mejia's hand. Soto said it counts, and it's confirmed. 15, he needs four in a minute. And there's some concern for sure on the face of Julio Rodriguez is Juan Soto. He's attempting to win the home run derby and become the six different national slash expo player who has participated and trying to become the second national expo player with multiple appearances. And can he walk away with a title? How about his skipper, David Martinez, also giving him a hug right yeah. now? Big question coming in. A lot of press asking him about the contract that he turned down. Yeah. The $15 million, $440 million deal. He's answered those. The question now moving forward is, besides the three potential four home runs that he needs to beat Rodriguez is, Will he be a national come in two, August two weeks 1st. from now? Yes. Yeah. Well, we know this. Last year, Soto came in and used the Derby to turn his season around. This year, he came in and he was riding the hot streak, and it's carried on here in spite of those distractions. 
way, one way or another, that trophy and the championship is headed to one place, and that's the Dominican Republic. Mejia and Soto met when he was 17 years old. He said he's my hitting coach in the off seasons. First one with the new ball, line shot won't go. Next one to left field. And we've seen ball. this from a lot of the hitters with the money ball. Yep. Different color, they take, it takes them at least two to three pitches to get used to it, and once they do, this is what happens. He's all of a sudden now within one. That's another one that's going to leave, and Juan Soto He's got it. puts one up into the air. He's waiting for another. Nope. Tied at 18, and another one to center. I think he did it. I think he went to 19. I really believe. If not, this is 20, as a matter of fact. He keeps going. He's down on a knee. He's got it. Bat is flipped sky high. And Juan Soto is your 2022 Home Run Derby champion. And he wanted to be darn sure of it. It stays in the National League East. The Nationals celebrating with Juan Soto here at Dodger Stadium. What a show put on by these young hitters. The future is bright when it comes to power here in Major League Baseball.